Hello, this is Josh Frank, and welcome to the webinar for Credit Card Clarity, Card Act Reform Works, uh, a research report by the Center for Responsible Lending. We found in our research that the Card Act was a success. Uh, reform has made prices transparent. Reform has not raised the price of credit. It has not cut the availability of credit. And transparency will lower costs long term by spurring competition and making it harder for issuers to manipulate or arbitrarily raise prices. The key findings are that the gap between the stated rates uh, are much closer to the actual rates people pay. Uh, this implies greater transparency. And uh, we found that $12.1 billion in previously obscure costs are now clearly stated. Once the economic downturn is taken into consideration, price levels are flat. It's the same thing with uh, mail offers. When you take into account economic conditions, mail offers do not show any impact from the CARD Act. In fact, mail offers are actually have actually been up. Industry has um, misled reporters by saying reforms have cut access to credit and raised prices, but those claims just don't hold up. The claims are, are based on uh, not very good data. There's much better data available. And they also don't take into account anything that's happened with the economy. Right here, you can see information on the data available. Uh, the data we used is Federal Reserve Board data, uh, the main data source. And th there are two series. There's a stated rate and an actual rate. The actual rate paid is the actual finance charges that people are paying. This is the rate that's important, and we give a number of reasons here why that's the best rate to use. Now, if you look at the right data, what you see is that the actual rates are not up since the CARD Act was passed or since it was implemented. In fact, they're down. And what has happened, though, is there has been a growing gap before the CARD Act between the actual rate paid by people and what they see stated on their solicitation. So there's a, a gap uh, of, of non-transparency there that has closed significantly. And you can see right now it's, it, the two are very close together. We looked at a number of data sources in addition to the, to the Fed Reserve data to uh, confirm our results. We looked at bank financial statements, which showed the same thing. We looked at uh, mail offers from Mattel Copper Media. And these mail offers show that mail volume is up and uh, has not had suffered due to, the, due to the CARD Act. We also looked at business rates and consumer rate card rates um, on creditcards.com to see if that showed any evidence. And here's more results from that. The Federal Reserve Board data uh, results are here. And you could see that the stated rate is higher, but the rate actually paid has not changed significantly. And what has changed is, that is important is the difference between the stated rate and what people actually paid. So that is evidence of increased transparency. Now, in terms of mail volume, the mail volume has been rising since CARD Act was passed and since CARD Act implementation. Uh, there is no evidence that there's been a, a reduction in mail volume. In fact, the opposite has happened. Business cards show the same story. There has been uh, business cards are not subject to the new rules. So uh, if the if the interest rates have gone up due to the new rules, business cards should not have shown the same rate increase. Yet they did. In fact, one way we measured it has showed a much greater increase. So that provides further evidence that it was the economy, not any kind of rules that caused rates to rise during some periods. So in conclusion, the CARD Act has been a success. And it has made rates more transparent while not having any negative unintended consequences. Thank you. Please stand by.